I think it's pretty clear that President Mater here has been the most highly anticipated and sought after variation of Mater from Cars on the Road. And there are a lot and a lot of cool ones. I mean, they waited, Mattel waited a year and then some to give us Cave Mater just in the last case here before President Mater. We still haven't gotten a full diecast version of Super Speeder Mater, who probably is the next in line in terms of most anticipated. We got Cryptid Buster Mater last year, but they waited and they waited for really the perfect time. And we'll get into why this truly is the perfect time to release none other than President Mater later on in the video. But they teased us last year with a mini racer version, a color changer version. Tomika did a version of their own. So there's just so much to talk about. I am so excited to get into this video. It just feels like... It's been years in the making, even though Cars on the Road is not even a full two years old yet. So that just goes to show how pivotal and just how imperative this release was to kind of the community and the fan base. But yeah, guys, this guy here came out of 2024 Singles Case E, a pretty good case. I will also be reviewing Todd Marcus from it and Wingo with Flames, that's a new Thailand variant, so keep your eyes out on the channel for those videos. They will be out very soon, but there's a lot of good stuff coming out, man. I have a lot of videos to make, but you know, at the end of the day, that is what I want. I want to be busy making videos on new stuff. First off, I love his artwork. It really embodies kind of the character of Mater. He just looks a little different than a Mater usually would look. And I know Cave Mater's art look very different, but in something that's you know not as far out as that, this is pretty nice. You do have the new for 2024 snipe, because if you didn't already tell, this is new for 2024. <laughs> yeah, he looks great. On the back here, obviously it says from Cars on the Road. And again, my gripe with these card packs has always been for at least this year so far that they aren't updating them. Like this card back should show other recent Cars on the Road releases being Cave Mater, Tractor Ghost, Deputy McQueen with the Slime, Space Creature McQueen. All of these are from cases A and B when they originally debuted. Now granted... Gearston Marshall and Rodette are in case E with President Mater here, but those debuted, like I said earlier, and Randy, Mato, Adam, especially those really are in our review mirrors. They have not been included in the case in a while. And my thing with that is like, it's important to show what's currently out. If you assume the person is holding this car, I mean, that's pretty obvious. If I'm holding this and I flip it onto the back. I want to see other stuff that I might be likely to find based on like conditional of me holding this. You guys know what I'm saying? Like back in the day when you'd flip over a car, like they would put other stuff on the case. And that's what they did pretty well in 2023 because it's just, it's a good marketing move. And yet they are kind of being lazy like they did in 2022 and just leaving it the same. So hopefully that changes here, but we're not off to a good start. But you guys probably don't really care all too much about that. And honestly, it is a pretty minor gripe, all things considered. What we care about is the die cast. So let rip this thing open here. Let us rip this thing open. Oh, look, there goes Doug Crankle. Guys, we are getting to the point where we can recreate some of the scenes from the episodes. It's really cool. These guys all look great together. They appear on screen, especially the combo here of Deputy McQueen and President Mater. Just so wild to see in full animation. McQueen and Mater are iconic, beloved characters in two wildly different paint jobs, I thought. It was pretty interesting. I know they leaned into that for that episode. But yeah, guys, let's actually put on the screen where President Amator appears in the B-movie episode of Cars on the Road. You know, he's filtering through all the roles. It's hot after the Grave Digger Mater, which is going to be another variant that, you know, we're looking forward to hopefully in the future from Mattel. And they cast him as the President of the United States. So speaking of which, while you guys are looking at some pictures... Why was this year the best time to release President Mater as the full diecast, like the full shebang? Like I said, 
They did the color changer. They did the mini racer last year, but that was just, you know, a little cannon fodder, right? That was just, you know, a little sprinkling. This year, 2024, is the year of the United States presidential election. And if you think for one second that that was a coincidence that, oh, President Mater just happens to be released in the same year. Nope, it is 100% not coincidence. They did on purpose and they waited like, yeah, let's just not, let's not put him in case A. That's like a little too soon. Let's wait a little bit. Case E, perfect. Make him the only new release in the case. So all the attention is on him. Let it kind of marinate as the year goes on, right? When all the primaries get up and going, all the caucuses and all that stuff. And if you're outside the U.S., those are just like fancy words for like the little beginnings to the whole election process. But yeah, guys, simply put, I mean, it is the U.S. presidential election and they are going to release this to capitalize on that. Simple as that. It's not political. It is just smart business making decisions. But yeah, Mater has a really cool expression here. I'm really digging it. It's different for, you know, a typical Mater, you know, speaking of which, here is a typical Mater. Although he does have pretty much the same mouth, his eyes are quite altered. And yeah, I mean, that's really good. I'm glad that they didn't just leave it the same like they've done with many Mater McQueen, obviously Ramon and among others. It's good to change up the expression to kind of fit the scene that he was in here. And they've been doing a really good job with that. You know, Cryptid Buster Mater had a good expression. The Road Rumbler Mater, who's not pictured here, has a good one. Even Cave Mater, obviously. Let's take a closer look here. Obviously, he doesn't have his hood. It kind of feels like he would because he's all fully painted, nice and shiny. But no, he still doesn't have his hood. And yeah, I think that's... Probably a good decision. Let's take a look at the decal here on the side. This is humongous. Let's see if Thailand was able to do any good with this. President of the United States. Flip it over. Mater seal. I love that. So yeah, it's not you know perfect, but you can read that text, which is what's important. The coat of arms is a little blurry there in the shield and all that, but it still looks decent. So I will give it to him. Obviously not what we would like. We would like to have clear, but <laughs> probably not ever going to get to that point. Although I will say the color changer decal, I mean, that's a sticker, granted. Almost looks clear. I think I would probably say that, yeah, that's clear. The text is definitely way crisper. So that's a little disappointing that they were able to put a clear decal on a plastic car. But yeah. Definitely, at least it beats out the mini racer version here, but that's also made from Thailand, so it makes sense. He has the yellow stripe running down the side here, which is very reminiscent of Lewis Hamilton. The base here, real quick, S49A, so that's the 49th week of 2023 at the A factory. So we're a few weeks away from production in 2024. I'm sure Case F cars will have the code T. Probably T04, T03, something around there is when, you know, we'll see some of those Case F cars sporting, I guess you could say. Now, the license plate looks a little weird for whatever reason. Why does it have like red little dots on it? That's very strange here. Use the good old T here. Yeah, see all that stuff, guys? What is that? It's like guts. It's like zombie guts, honestly. Like Doug Krangle, what are you doing here, my guy? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really understand that. If anyone understands the purpose of that, surely that's supposed to be there. Surely there's some purpose to that, but I don't know what it is. Either way, it's blurry. The A113 is. That's not great, but, you know, Thailand's forte is certainly not their decals. But, yeah, he's got the gray towing cables here. Pretty standard stuff. He does have the working tow hook, which is a little bit of a surprise to me. He doesn't tow anything as President Mater, but for funsies, I mean, I guess that's why they were prepared, putting holes in a bunch of the McQueens they do nowadays, including McQueen Deputy Hazard here. So let's see. Oh, yeah, easy peasy. Bam. Now he's towing Lighty McQueen Deputy Hazard around the lot. McQueen can't act to save his life and now i guess he can't drive so yeah it works pretty well you could obviously go from the front as well 
Nice, 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 nice. Man, those are some squeaky wheels for sure. So yeah, this is a good, <laughs> excuse me. This is a good release. I'm so excited about it. I'm coughing. Few drawbacks. I would say the decals, the license plate for sure. The sirens also just kind of oddly painted. It's not very consistent or even. You can see on the front here, it's more orange. On the side, it's this pale grainy looking yellow. Just like you're not sure what you're going to get. Life's a box of chocolates. You're just not sure what you're going to get. I mean, yeah, the paint is just super uneven and consistent there. But yeah, let's compare them real quick to the color changer version, which has a different expression, pretty similar to the Precision Series version of Mater. Much darker blue, but yeah, this was a color changer, so we will at least amend it or commend it for having a slightly different color. I mean, I always hate... I, mean, I don't hate it, it's understandable, but you always want the color changer to have the most different colors. Like the flow they did way back in 2010 that goes from purple to pink. It's like, you can't get any better than that. That is the best color changer released of all time, and it's not even close. Like, there's not even anything really remotely close to flow as a color changer. But, like, if they did a present mater from red to green, that could get close. But, yeah, they went for the, you know, dark blue to kind of the... Well, what color does he change to? Like a teal, I think it is, maybe? It's been a while now. But as you can see, this color changer is not held up well at all. It is chipped along the edges pretty severely. And guys, I will spoil it. I'm not playing with it, you know? I, I'm i not doing anything to make it look like this. But yeah, it does look like it goes to teal. That's not a chip. That's just it changing colors everything you see here on the front is like yeah what the hell happened to this guy i promise guys i didn't do anything to it let's take a look at the license plate it has because it does look like it's similar it also has all those little dots on it and yeah that is oh man guys no no they did not hmm okay so we figured it out the dots come from just regular Mater's license plate, right? Okay, I understand. But that's because he's rusty and dirty. Like, that's dirt and rust on his license plate. So you mean to tell me that they just kept the same exact license plate. They painted them all up nice, you know. It just looks so out of place, guys. Put a new license plate on them. Like, you can't tell me. That Disney and Pixar meant for it to just be the same old rusty, dirty plate that he has on normally. Why give him the shiny, beautiful paint job if you're just going to stop at the license plate? Yeah, just slap on that old dirty one he had. No. Uh, I see why they did that, though. Because it is just a carbon copy off of regular Mayor's license plate. I mean, it's colored a little more redder, which... <laughs> is also not a good thing in their favor but yeah come on guys that should be like a pristine a113 license plate like brand new mater has it should be just like this untainted unscathed i'm pretty disappointed with that to be honest i know it's a minor thing here but it does have you know a little bit of an effect it just kind of taints the whole thing for me but overall, I do like this car. I like the black engine in there and how they painted that. like the expression. I probably, if I had to grade this guy, would give him a solid B. The decals aren't great. And, well, yeah. So the decals and the siren are the main things that I have an issue with with President Mater. But overall, they didn't really have to do much. It would be pretty hard to screw this release up at the end of the day. All you had to do was give it to us as fans and we'll take it gladly, right? Because it is President Mater after all. And yeah, quickly comparing him to the Mini Racer version here. They actually kind of have similar expressions with the eyes. You can see how the eyelids are just kind of enlarged on the 155 scale version. But the Mini is a lighter blue. So there is that. And yeah, I mean, even the Mini Racer has the Rusty's license plate, or the Rusty license plate. So just a little annoying. I mean, we obviously never see his license plate, I don't think, fully in the episode, but I can't imagine it was Rusty like that. I mean, I'll take it all back. If, when I'm editing this, 
I find that, you know, there's a perfect shot of his license plate from the show and it shows it as dirty and rusty. But I just, I don't know, I can't really get over that. My question to you guys is, what is your favorite version of Mater from Cars on the Road so far? There are a lot more they could do. Obviously, a die cast of Super Speeder Mater here. There's Cryptobuster Mater. There's Road Rumbler Mater. There's the recent Cave Mater. I think my favorite is probably... Cave Mater? Yeah, I think it's got to be Cave Mater. The expression's great. Now, if they did a Super Speeder Mater as a die cast, he'd probably be... He'd probably surmount Cave Mater, but you know, until then, we will not know. You know, I do want to do a little video. I'll probably do it as a short, predicting my top 10 diecast from 2024. I'm already thinking of a list. I'll give you guys a little a preview. I think Cruz Ramirez as hauler has to be on that list just because of virtue of being a new hauler. That's pretty substantial. I think that, oh man, yeah. I think I said this in my poster video. Chris Freightman will be in there. Obviously, Mandy Frudenbender, the Taco Mint Crew Chief, will be in there. Oh, gosh. Who else? Man, what the hell else is there? Yeah, I mean, there's a whole bunch of good stuff. Probably a GRC or two will even make the top 10, which is crazy because they are repaints. But, yeah, I'm very excited for what's to come. Obviously, the next case, case staff is not great. We, you know, we talked about that when I revealed it a couple weeks ago. But... After that, guys, it is smooth sailing. Ain't going to encounter any more dud cases like that. All right, as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye now. Well, guys, I was wrong. The license plate actually, by some miracle, does look like that in the episode. As I was editing, yeah, it's got the red dots, the rust, whatever you want to call it, on it. And so let me redirect my complaint toward Disney and Pixar. What on earth were you thinking? You have to make that a clean looking license plate. You're repainting him for a movie. I mean, I don't know, whatever. Maybe I'm getting too into it. Maybe I need to just touch grass. But I did want to make and add the segment onto the video saying I was wrong. I can't believe it's actually like that in the movie or in the episode. That's of a movie, I guess. Wow. Fourth wall break, maybe?